This dog has trust issues, so the owner built a boudoir bedroom that even has a TV to comfort him. Dog owner Sean Farrell loves his buddy Buster so much he thought he should get his own place. After browsing the internet for some inspiration, he decided to give up a corner in his home and build Buster a boudoir. Despite having absolutely no experience in carpentry and making this like this, it turned out absolutely possum. Buster is my 12-year-old rescue Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Sean, 47, told Board Panda. I've had him just over two years. He's not had the best life, and that changed the day I met him. Initially, I was only supposed to foster him, but I fell in love, and we both knew we were meant to be together. Due to bad experiences in his life, he doesn't like to be around single men, and when we're alone at home, he stays on his own in the bedroom. He will only come down when other people are here as well, or for walks and food, Sean said. We've been working really, really hard on his trust issues, and because his behavior is much improved, he is now a therapy dog, and we visit residential home hospitals and brain injury rehabilitation clinics. He also accompanies people with low social skills, autism, agoraphobia, etc. out shopping. The boudoir was an idea to give Buster a cozy space of his own in the same room as me. To really let him know he can be safe around me and feel secure in his little den at the same time. After finishing it, he went in there almost instantly. It's been a few weeks now and he's happy to sleep and hang out in his house. In total, Sean has spent around 80 to 100 pounds on his buddy's new crib. The man has been updating Buster's Facebook page with pictures of the multi-day project and his fans are loving it. As it was with my own living room, I wanted it to blend in and look part of the room, Sean explained. I had no real plan, I just bought some wood and ply board and just did it as I went along, due to its enormous success with over 20 million views on Facebook. Imagine being a monkey. On the front is the first line from a lullaby I sing to him when he's having bad dreams. A lot of the cosmetic finishes, like the TV and shelf and mood lighting, were just really a bit of fun, but the cooling fan works really well, Buster's owner said. It's all battery run, so no electrics are in there. The items were just lying around the house. There are also pictures of my previous dog, Zook, on the wall. Zook was a bit of a celebrity. He was disabled and had a very large internet following all over the world. Zook passed away at the age of 17. But if it wasn't for him, Sean would have never found Buster. From start to finish, the boudoir took me about four days to make. After I painted it, I used carpet adhesive Buster wasn't allowed in there for another two weeks. I'll never fuss or play with him when he's in there as I want him to feel it's his own little corner, but if he wanders onto my turf, he's in tug of war hell. I'm absolutely blown away by the response it had from hundreds of thousands of people from all over the world. Staffordshire Bull Terriers are getting very bad press and so it's lovely to be able to show them that they're a beautiful dog that deserves a wonderful life. 